Spain safe. I have to admit, I do find here that there's a lot of, well, how about police. <laughs> I'll just try to think of the best way to describe it. There's a lot of police. Um, because there's, I believe there's four police forces. Um, but you will find they're very proactive. There's not a day goes by I don't see at least the local police and the Guardia um, patrolling. It's, they're very proactive. Um, I do think there's a lot of petty crime in the sense that there's a lot of things like pickpockets on market day. Uh, but I have noticed a heavy police presence even on market days. There's four or five policemen at the La Mata market. Um, I'm not sure about the Torreca one because I haven't been there since I got pickpocketed. So <laughs> I can't comment on that one. Uh, but yeah, petty crime is probably the biggest problem. The other thing is if you own holiday homes, especially this area because it's littered with them, um, there is a problem where people will break in and empty your entire house. They'll take it all and sell it. There's been newspaper articles relating to raids at Torreca Market for all the goods being sold, which have obviously come from stolen, well, they're, they're stolen goods from people's houses. Because uh, they do things like they'll put a cable tie on a gate and then drive past to see if the cable tie's been cut. They'll put a piece of uh, plastic on the door to see if it's dropped out, that sort of thing, to see if anybody's actually li living in the house. Because if they're not, whatever it is, two, three days or whatever, they'll come back and they'll empty the property. So that is something to be aware of. Um, if you do want somebody to pop around your house a few times a week, get in touch. Because uh, I can offer that service. It's not really uh, too much of a problem, depending on where you are. <laughs> um, but yeah. That is a problem. But I would say it probably happens a lot less on the apartments because you always find there's at least one person in nearly every block. So there's always somebody that knows what's going on in the neighbourhood. So it's it's more likely the villas and the probably the semi-detached type houses, that sort of thing, where uh, they're higher risk. Uh, and also it hasn't got communal access because obviously getting into a communal block is one thing before you even get to the front door. So yeah, so I'd, I'd say the apartments probably don't suffer with it in the same level. Um, but yeah, generally I don't th see crime as that much of a problem. I actually see it as a lot less here in Spain than the, I do in the UK. Um, where we are, we don't really have the binge drinking antics that go on where compared to Worcester, uh, where I originally come from. Uh, when I say originally, we moved there in 89. Um, yeah, you don't really have the binge drinking antics around where we are. We don't really have loud music or anything that's even like a antisocial thing. I suppose the only thing that's antisocial here is probably graffiti. There is a lot of graffiti in Spain. I don't know why they do it, because a lot of it is crap. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's really bad. It's not even good graffiti. Um, I'm not on about the artistic ones, I'll be honest with you. Some of the stuff is really nice. Um, but I'm talking about the ones that just get the black spray paint and just squiggle a word or whatever. Um, giros seems to be quite a common um, phrase, and bruto. Um, they are, they're splattered around. No idea why they do it. I think bruto means ugly or something. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, beyond that, not really a problem. Because some of the stuff is normal here. And what I mean is, like, people bumping your car when they're parking or whatever. Nobody even bats an eyelid because they do it all day long. Um, which in the UK, you may have people fighting in a car park over it. Uh, but yeah, generally not a problem. I, I love it here. Not really any issues. Um, no, it's all good. Thanks for watching.